Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. My name is Ardenia Myrick, and I'm so excited to be here with you today to discuss a very, very important topic. And I'm sure most of you ladies uh, are very concerned about your attire. It's something that you give a lot of time and thought to. There's a lot of expense that goes into attire. So I want to talk about how to use it to your most advantage. And I'm from the competitive edge, and your attire is something that can definitely give you a competitive edge. Your attire, as we know, is a, a nonverbal communication. And you've heard in some of your previous seminars that your appearance is statistically 60% of what is conveyed. But arguably, some would say even 90% of what is communicated is done nonverbally. And so as we discuss attire, we'll discuss how to build a wardrobe from, from the bottom, from the inside out, starting with your foundations. No attire is going to fit properly, no matter how expensive it is, what quality it is, without the proper foundation. How many ladies have actually had a professional bra fitting? Okay, very good. Do you know how often you should have a professional bra fitting? You should have a professional bra fitting. Were you going to share? No. Uh, you should have one done every six months. Every six months. I see you, you look a little surprised, Miss Barbara. <laughs> yeah, every six months because your body can change um, immensely during that, that time. And you want to make sure that your, your bras are wearing properly. Sometimes they may lose a little of the elasticity within that period of time, so you want to have a fitting. So what you're looking for in a good bra fit, if you see the black brassiere there, you can see that there's a little spillage from the side there. Sometimes you may um, see people that may have a little excess spilling out of the, the cups there. And if you want your clothes to lay properly, you want to do something more the, the other bra. You see that everything is completely concealed, covered. It's not going to distract from, um, from a lovely top or, or, or sheath dress at all. In the other photo, you can see what we call VPL. Does anyone know what VPL is? Visible panty lines. Visible panty lines, ladies. How many of you have heard of Spanx? Okay, most of you have heard of Spanx. They're a foundation garment that is worn by uh, ladies under pants, skirts. Um, it gives a smoother um, appearance. You can see on, to the right there where the pants have a much smoother appearance. Spanx are not the only undergarment that's made that way. I personally prefer terry toners. They have a, they're almost steel belted. <laughs> Nothing moves when you have those on. So you want to start every outfit with the proper foundations, and I encourage you to have a bra fitting uh, on a regular basis. So much has changed uh, with attire. Professional dress really is determined by your particular industry. It's industry specific. Most of you who are in business will have the occasion to maybe be on a, be in a board meeting, you may be interviewing for a position, you may be meeting with clients, and it's going to be important for you to understand the necessity of professional or what was once known as formal business attire. And formal business attire for ladies would consist of a suit that is the same color from head to toe. And um, we have a lovely example that Sarah, can you just stand up for just one moment and show us your, your suit? And as you can see, it's the same fabric from head to toe that she has on here with a lovely shirt underneath. Thank you so much, Sarah. And this can also be done in, in a skirt, and it's really a matter of preference. Years ago, it was uh, sometimes questionable for a woman to wear a skirt suit. I'm sorry, not to wear a skirt suit. Um, questionable if you wore a pantsuit. Um, sometimes unacceptable if you wore a pantsuit. But now, in, in corporate America in most industries, it's perfectly acceptable for ladies to wear pantsuits as well, just as the one that Sarah has on. And as you see, the also that look of that monochromatic color uh, that she has on in a suit can also be very flattering and slimming to most figures. And we'll look at some other examples of uh, formal business attire in just a moment, or professional attire. Some organizations do allow you to do business casual attire. Sometimes it's just on Fridays. Sometimes it's a matter of your regular work day that you can wear casual business attire. So let's look at some of those examples. So for myself personally, I do wear a suit to work uh, most days. Uh, on Fridays, I, I deem it my own casual Friday. And by casual Friday in my organization, because I work in a school of business, 
we don't wear jeans, but I do take it as a day where I can dress uh, more of my own personal style. So usually it's with a dress, and you can see a dress there, and it's one of the, uh, if you've been to Neiman Marcus, you can see they have an array of pinks that are displayed this season. It's a very fashionable color. Uh, the shoe that you see there has a peep toe and a, and a cute accessory to go with it. And the other photo where the ladies are wearing pants, and again, those very seasonal colors, the pinks and the yellows, and what uh, some stylists are, are deeming as fancy pants, those particular ones are in white, but they come in lots of different colors, and that would be another option. Unless your particular industry really deems it acceptable to wear jeans to the office, if your CEO is not wearing jeans, if you're in corporate, if you're in higher ed, if your dean, if your president is not wearing jeans on Friday, I wouldn't wear jeans. And I encourage everyone to dress not for where you are, but to dress for where you're going. So if you're, if you're going to be uh, in, an executive, then start dressing that way. You want to understand that you're not only representing yourself, but then you're also representing the organization. And what does the face of that organization look like? And again, you want to look at your, your CEOs, you look at your VPs to, to see what that organization looks like. And I'm sure this is a quote you've probably never seen before. <laughs> but if you've ever thought about what you're wearing and wondering whether people are looking at you or your attire, Coco Chanel says that if a woman is badly dressed, it's the dress that will be noticed. But if she is impeccably dressed, it's the woman herself that will be noticed. And you want to be noticed, not your shabby attire. So let's take a look at some examples of attire here. So we have here a very traditional women's suit, but it has some fine detailing on here. Very often you don't want to, if you're wearing this to a cocktail reception after work, you don't want to carry a clutch or a heavy bag with you. This has, is well appointed with its pockets. Um, it's always a good idea to be able to carry your business cards in one pocket and then have another pocket in order to receive cards. The underpinning for this particular suit has a pop of color. So that's a place where you can really show some of your individual taste. You could always accessorize it um, with, with a necklace there. This suit, and these are both in very traditional colors. If you're going to start with your professional attire and you want to make an investment, you want to start with the basic colors. These are staples for your wardrobe, a gray suit and a navy blue suit. You can never go wrong with those. It's a great place to start. And again, this suit also has pockets. It's always a, a good idea to have those. And this particular one is, is a pants suit. And again, the under, underpinning with this one um, is just a very light blue, very complimentary to the suit. This is an outfit that I personally would wear for Business Casual Friday. It does have a sleeveless dress here. The sheath is very well appointed. If you look at the back, it looks as good from the front as it does from the back. And again, it has two pockets, so you're never without your business cards. Ladies, even if you're going to the restroom, you never know who you might run into in your building. And they, you say hello to them, how are you? Oh, do you work in this building? Yes, I do. Uh, oh, what, what department do you work in? Oh, I've been wanting, I wanted to ask someone about that department. Can, may I have your card so I can call you later or send you an email? Absolutely. I'm always with my cards. So you pull one out and you were prepared. But because it is sleeveless, and sometimes it's cool in buildings, but sometimes it's just unacceptable to carry, um, to, to have your arms showing a great cardigan. And again, it's kind of a suit look with the, um, the matching color. You can belt this as well. Lastly, ladies, I'll leave you with some shoe selections. This is a great pump that can be worn with either of these. If you want to do something a little bit more stylish uh, with your dress, you can certainly do that. And as a final tip, I learned this at Neiman Marcus from a sales associate. Ladies, often when we travel with our suits, we're not sure how to fold them. This is the proper way to fold your suits when traveling. Just tuck it inside, that way your shoulder pads are not getting damaged, your collar looks great, the suit is protected, you just fold it up and put it in your wardrobe. So I hope those things will help you, and I wish you much success in your future endeavors.